Welcome back to Star or Shovelware, my name is Luke and today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at Happy's Humble Burger Farm on the Nintendo Switch and being a fan of both horrors and weird ass games, this one is one that I definitely wanted to check out. Part fast food preparation simulator, part creepy as f horror game, this one sees you trying to keep customers happy and trying not to make Happy the Heifer and Co unhappy, but there are some sinister things afoot, so let's dive right on into this oddball and make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel and keep up to date with all my latest content. So I don't want to say too much with the storyline in this one, as a big part of the game revolves around trying to work out exactly what the hell's going on, what the connection is between the Happy's Humble Burger Farm franchise and a shady biotech company, and why you're experiencing such disturbing hallucinations. The game opens with you laying on an operating table as two surgeons casually chat about installing a chip into your brain, but how this chip affects you and why you've had it installed is all on you to discover, and throughout your time playing you'll slowly uncover the secrets about the Burger franchise, finding notes and cassette tapes which disclose some of the history about its mascots, and snooping around restricted areas to unveil many other dark revelations. To me though it felt like there'd been a good amount of effort put into developing the world around you and its storyline, with a player rewarded for exploration and inquisitiveness. There are a ton of little details for you to discover, and several hours of amusing radio shows and TV programs for you to watch, and I liked how the story was actually baked into the gameplay. Overall, quality stuff plot wise. So gameplay in Happy's Humble Burger Farm is essentially split into two halves, the first being the food preparation simulator sections, and the second being exploration, both of which you're going to have to partake in if you want to finish the game. Things start off with you waking up in your bed and being prompted to head out to work, and on your way out you'll likely encounter Tor, your friend and co-worker at Happy's, and after a short walk through a creepy looking tunnel, you'll be ready to start your first day on the job. Now you're given a welcome pack in the game which instructs you on how to actually prepare the various foods, and this in itself is relatively simple, though you will need to locate each cooking appliance yourself. Before you can actually start your shift though, you must first go through the daily routine of clocking in, turning on the opening sign to allow customers to start arriving, and turning on the power switch for all the cookers and other appliances. Now the general cooking process goes something like this. Each customer will arrive and then place their order which will then be displayed on the cash register and you'll then have two minutes in which to fulfil them. Grabbing a bunch of ingredients from the storeroom you can bung a burger on the grill, fries and nug nugs in the fryer and pop a cup beneath the soda and milkshake machines to fill them up, and once they're done you simply pop them in a bag and then throw them at the customer. Sounds simple doesn't it? Well it is, however things like burgers actually need assembling by hand to the customer's specification, requiring you to add the individual toppings to a bun, things like hot dogs need ketchup and mustard applying, and fries and nug nugs need popping into containers. All the while though you can hear that 2 minute timer ticking down, and this really adds a sense of urgency and eventually dread. Failing to deliver the correct order or taking too long will result in a penalty. And in this game it's a 3 strike rule, with your third and final strike awaking Happy, the demonic bovine, whose appetite for human flesh can only be sated with rotten burgers. Now each new shift at Happy's introduces new food types for you to prepare, and while things start off relatively easy, the difficulty level in the game quickly ramps up with this one. Additional mechanics are introduced to push your already limited prep time to breaking point, including hallucinations which turn off the power supply or appear out of nowhere and explode, and then there's the emergency requests which include eradicating rats, plunging toilets and taking out the trash, and you only have 30 seconds to fulfil these with failure leading to another strike against you. Now all of these things combined to make shifts at Happy's incredibly hectic, as you dash from station to station, prepping food, whacking rats and dodging exploding mannequins, and for the most part it's a tense but enjoyable gameplay experience, however the controls in the game do cause some issues. 
aiming with the thumbsticks can be a bit of a pain, especially when trying to quickly target and pick up individual ingredients. And instead of just placing them down like a normal person would, you actually have to throw them, which can also be a nightmare if you don't judge the angle and distance correctly. All in all though, I'd say the cooking simulator elements are fun, but can be quite frustrating. Now when it comes to the exploration elements, these are primarily focused around discovering more about Happy's and its connection to the Obscura Biocorp. And between your shifts you're able to freely explore the town, pawning stuff for cash, grabbing a coffee or taking a stroll in the local graveyard. You'll find scraps of paper and hidden cassette tapes dotted all over the place, which slowly help to build a picture and shine a light on what's going on. But things really start to get tasty once you hit day three and get to take a look around an obscure Biocorp warehouse. Now I'm not going to disclose any details, but let's just say there's more to Happy's than meets the eye. In order to get to the bottom of things, you're going to have to hack a few keypads, sneak around places you're not supposed to be, and partake in several boss fights, which are also quite challenging. It's worth noting that the cash you earn from working your shifts also proves necessary for progressing the storyline, as there are vending machines in the game which contain the items required to gain access to new areas, and they also sell healing items and things like coffee which provide a movement speed boost. Overall though I'd say the world of Happy's humble burger farm is a dark one, it's shrouded in mystery, and while I did get caught out by the odd jump scare, this one is not a full on horror experience, relying more on its creepiness than anything else. While its cooking elements are quite enjoyable, as I said before the game's controls elevate the difficulty level, making it overly frustrating at times, and so I'd say the game's main strong point lies in its atmosphere and intrigue. Now when it comes to replayability, after completing the game's story mode, which will likely take around 3-5 to five hours, you'll then gain access to endless mode, which lets you play chef for as long as you like, and allows you to open up the drive through for an additional challenge. I'd say if you're looking for a horror game with a bit of a difference though, Happy's Humble Burger Farm certainly delivers this. So visually then, I'd say that Happy's looks pretty decent on the Switch. Unlike some ports, it's not pure potato vision here, but it's not without its issues either. Unlike the PC and Xbox versions, where you're able to adjust the visuals and select different filters, the Switch version comes with a permanent CRT filter, adding film grain and noise, and I presume this has primarily been done to mask the low resolution textures. But since there are no visual settings at all, it can actually be turned off, nor can the game's brightness be bumped up, and at times it's actually difficult to see anything at all, with your flashlight proving to be next to useless. Now on the audio side of things, this is one area in which the game does excel. The sound effects and ambience add some real tension to the game, as does the changing music when you receive a strike or two, but one of my favourite features were the radio and TV shows, which put out some rather amusing and often unsettling content. The game's soundtrack is a rather ecliptic mixture of electronica, eerie ambient and some kind of weird alternative rock from the band in the coffee shop, but again it's all good stuff here, with my personal favourite track in the game being one which plays during a surreal TV show. So when it comes to the game's performance on the Switch, things are pretty stable, and while I did experience a couple of minor frame rate drops, there was nothing serious. However, like I said, due to there being no visual settings, the game's brightness can really be an issue at times. I'd say one of its biggest problems though is definitely the controls, as with the PC version, a mouse and keyboard allows for an adequate amount of speed and precision, but using a controller significantly hinders this, which is especially noticeable in the later shifts and boss fights. I did have a fun time playing this one though, I loved its creepy ambience, intriguing storyline, and despite the frustrations, the frantic challenge of its cooking mechanics. When all said and done though, and when it comes to my own personal rating, I'm going to be giving Happy's Humble Burger Farm 3 out of 5 stars. Happy's Humble Burger Farm offers a unique gameplay experience for sure, blending simulation and horror elements in a unique and effective way, and sadly it really appears to have been overlooked by a lot of people. 
while admittedly the game does fare better on other platforms, be that with the visuals or its controls, I'd still say that this Switch version is well worth a play. And so that about does it for this review of Happy's Humble Burger Farm on the Nintendo Switch. Make sure to give that like button a tickle if you enjoyed it and it helped you out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and whether you're going to be partaking in a spot of burger flipping in the comments section below. And if you watch my content regularly but are not yet subscribed, then please consider doing so. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching. And until next time, take care of yourselves and game on.